the sense I'm getting with these questions is that when Dr. Sam and Dr. Harun started DSF, it was supposed to be only for the welfare of the students. But later ah, on, when ah. people like Murad Saab came and Mother Sai Saab came, it became no. more ah. ah. It's not so. Uh, I tell you, it's not so. Actually, it was started because the need. But and then you know, 47, 48, 49, there's a wave of socialism. We, it was conscious of politically also. But we did not use politics in the Eastern politics because we thought that we would divide the Eastern bodies and we would never be able to have a cooperation of all the students that we wanted. Sir, uh, sorry, that's a very interesting point. Like uh, after listening to you people, I came into the student politics in the 1980s. By that time, it has become totally volatile. So, what I wanted to ask was like Dr. Sever just said that. Uh, you guys were politically conscious, but didn't use it directly because you thought that on politics basis students might be divided. Exactly. But my question is, for example, when the tradition of student union elections started taking hold, most probably in the 60s, and then no, it, no, 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 it was there. It was, it was there, there, but 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 wasn't that institution there? If there was a divide politically, that the student unions will take care of the division in a democratic manner. So what was the fear really? I, I, the students were very, very much disturbed because of the financial position. There it was there was a need that something should be done to elevate all these things. So therefore they, we started campaigning for the, our demands and together with Dr. Sarwar and medical body Dr. Harun, we formed uh, the organization and we we organized the students and to, told them that there we are there and we will launch a movement and we will get you all the facilities that you want. The fees will be reduced and we was reduced due to, due to this movement by 100 rupees and 200 rupees, which is at that time was great value. And three months installments and six months installments were, were imposed. Therefore, that was very disturbing. Many students could not pay that and they were facing the, the bad days. So that was a real need for an organization. To, to do something for the students. And for that need, we, we organized the DJ College. It was, uh, there are three, four uh, colleges uh, in that vicinity. Was NAD was there, Commerce College was there, SM College was there, Law College was there. So we, we, we succeeded in getting all these, these students and we, we formed a, a better movement. And therefore, we started movement, we demanded from the government and we do not believe that we started then we, on 8th of January 1953, we came out on the streets and there were three days that followed Shuk Dikshuk Karachi. And there, we have, uh, after long negotiations, Dr. Sarwar was leading our negotiations with the government and uh, we achieved a quite a good number of uh, demands and, and this united them. Now that was so, uh, we are so popular, if I said today there will be no class, there will be no class in DJ body. So, Mother Sekha, we just mentioned that you did not agree with uh, the documentary street fighting years on a lot of uh, on a lot of things. Why was it that you don't agree with what was shown in the documentary? Documentary, right. you know, the, uh, the documentary. The documentary, the, the, you know, the first two episodes we are talking about. See, you see, actually, student movement. If you ignore DSF, then student movement history is not complete. See. DSF gave the birth to student movement. Actually, see. Foundation that from there the student movement started. It was banned within a period of four, five years, six years. Then NSF came, but the ground for the student movement was prepared by DSF. This was this has totally been ignored in all these articles which have appeared in Dawn and also in your movie. See, it has not been there. See, and I'll, and I'll pose that to you. He, uh, he just, yeah, uh, one he raised. You are someone who's yes, actually made an effort writing yeah. something about student movement. And like we also mentioned uh, previously that when you were writing, uh, you found multiple histories, and especially the 50s problem, part yeah. was very, very uh, small. Why do you think that's that That's a is? problem, like researching, because unfortunately, when I went out to research for the articles and the paper I gave to you, there is this movement, either 50s, or 60s, even 70s, till about 80s, early 80s, very little of it has really been documented seriously. Unfortunately, and I've never known the reason why, because we've, we've, uh, we've seen uh, such amazing people coming out from uh, these movements, these uh, student unions and organizations, also throughout these three, four decades. 
but I just don't know uh, why it hasn't been documented. So I had to go back to the newspapers, archives to find out. But again, when you go back to the newspapers, every newspaper has their own angle. And then you go back to people of both left side, uh, right, right and the center, and you find out that each one has their own version of, of, of the history of student movement. I'll, I'll, yeah? I'll cut you, I'll put it to Dr. Harun. You, just, uh, you wrote an article in Dawn newspaper as well. Uh, that must be your own version, but it's I. From what I gather, it's only one page long. Why hasn't any one of you who've been prominent leaders made more of an effort to document student unions? Uh, in fact, uh, we used to bring out a student herald, and uh, it has actually uh, documented a lot of things. I don't know uh, because when you look back, it was a movement which. Uh, was in fact vertical because uh, student movement at that time, labor, uh, journalists, all these were organized, but this was a very kind of uh, movement which was vertical and everybody would look towards this movement. Uh, I think that uh, what we, uh, I think particularly that our generation of uh, TSF and soon after, they had nothing much to do after they graduated. But this, in this brief period, actually, as you know, the movement has spread throughout Pakistan, East Pakistan and West Pakistan, you see. Uh, first, and DSA became so popular that union, official union in the colleges, they were sort of social organizations, you see. But all these unions were literally captured by DSF. I was in the union, he was in the union, SM College Union, they were in the medical college union, you know. So because we, we have raised the student problem, we are not concerned with politics, we are not concerned with religion, we are not concerned with anything, as Dr. Sarva said, I see. We are only concerned that women is student problem. And we were facing a lot of problems as students, you see. Therefore, the student rallied around us. See. When this happened, then the intercollegiate body was formed. All the official unions of the college, they united into one intercollegiate body, you see in which, again, DSF was in the background. It never came in the forefront, but DSF has a very significant role to play. See?